Hello, I'm Natalia and welcome to Beads Jar. Today in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make some beautiful dainty pearl cascade earrings. I've been inspired by the Swarovski pearls that are in this very soft green palette and some Mayuki seed beads that are Baroque style with a pearlescent coating and also some appetite chips that are turquoise, the lovely blues and greens and all of that palette of colors look like gentle colors of a forest. They remind me of fairies, they remind me of Midsummer Night's Dream. So I hope you're gonna enjoy making these earrings and let's get started. So for these pearl cascade earrings, here are the ingredients that you'll need. So first of all, we have these powder green 10 millimeter Swarovski pearls. So you're gonna need two of those. We have some Mayuki Baroque seed beads and they're in silver pearl color and we've got, uh, those are a six zero size. We have some absolutely beautiful um, turquoise appetite chips and um, so they go so beautifully with those two. You're going to need two eye pins, a couple of fish hook earring wires, you can choose silver or silver plated whichever you like and then you're going to need quite a few head pins, we're going to need 26 of those, I've used silver plated ones for the eye pins and the head pins and then the tools you're going to need, you're going to need your chain nose pliers, your round nose pliers and your wire cutters. So let's get started. So first of all you want to take one of your uh, Swarovski pearls and a head pin. So you make sure that your head pin is nice and straight. Sometimes when they come out of the packet they're a little bit wonky, they've gone a bit bent. So just um, use a pair of nylon jaw pliers to straighten your head pin until it's, it's beautiful and straight. And then you're going to thread on your pearl and take it all the way down to the base. Now another little tip that you can do just to make this project look a, a little bit prettier is you can take a tiny little um, 11 size um, seed bead, you must have some of those in your stash kicking around, any colour that complements the colour of the pearl you're working with and you could put that underneath, it just creates a nice little touch on the end there I think. And then we're going to start creating the cascade part of our earring. So let's have one of these um, Mayuki six zeros and we're going to take a, a head pin and thread that onto the head pin. And then you take your round nose pliers and just bend the wire to a right angle like that. Take the wire over the top of the curve on those round nose pliers and then you're going to take your pliers out, reposition them. So I like to, to either grip it like that or you can place your, your pliers back through and then start to wrap the wire around the base of the excess wire that you have until you reach the seed bead like that. So you can use your fingers or you can use the pliers, it's up to you. Use your um, chain nose pliers to do that. And then when you get to the base, you're just gonna cut off that excess wire like that. And then you have a little wire wrapped loop. And that is going to get fed onto your pearl like that and then the, they're going to start cascading. So you're going to need to do six of those. So I've prepared some of those and I'm just going to bring them in and start, um, I'll take that one off, start feeding them onto the head pin. This is why it needs to be really straight because the head pin is, um, is going to be quite a big character in the making of this piece of jewellery. So as you pop them on, in no particular order, you will have created six of these. And on they go. And last one goes on. You can see they're just kind of moving around the pearl and, um, and just cascading and doing their thing. So that's the first stage of it. And then next we have these appetite chips. Now, chips, are, um, they're really beautiful. They sort of remind me of sea glass in a way, um, particularly this color. And the way that they have been drilled 
is sometimes the drill hole will be very close to the edge of the of the bead. So here I've got quite a decent uh, central drill hole. And the reason why we're taking um, notice of that is if the drill hole is very, very close to the edge, we're going to do the same that we did with the seed beads. And when you start wire wrapping, if the, if the drill hole is too close to the edge, it can actually break the, the, um, the chip. So if you get one of those that's, that's got a drill hole that's quite close to the edge, set those aside and use those for stringing or um, uh, weaving or doing other things like that. So you're not, you're not going to waste it, but you want to, to use ones that are, are pretty tough. Now when you're doing your wire wrap loops, you've got to be careful because again, these are, these are delicate little chips, so you don't want to be too rough with them. So um, I'm going to, to do the same process that I did last time creating my wire wrap loops. But I'm going to be very careful and gentle as I, as I wrap. As I'm taking the wire down, I'm not gonna take it right up to the edge, so it's sort of crunching, so that the bead's crunching against the, the base of the head pin because we don't want to break it. And I've, I'm telling you because this happened to me <laughs> when I was uh, preparing and I've done other projects using these. So it's um, learned from my mistakes. So then we're going to do six more of those and thread them on. So I've prepared some here. And what would be really great is if you could look through the chips and choose the different colors because you get all kinds of blues and greens within this strand. They really are gorgeous. So uh, thread all of those on like that and get a nice con you know, variety of colour which creates texture and interest on your piece of jewellery and threading the last one on there like that so they, they're going to sit on top of the seed beads and they're all going to get along happily and just mix and mingle in with one another. Then what you want to do is to create a loop on the wire. So we've got far too much wire and I need to take the, the wire down, trim it, and I'm just gonna bring in one of my finished earrings to show you what I mean. So what we don't want is we don't want to create a loop that is so tight that it, it compresses those pieces because the beauty of this piece is the movement in it when it's in the ears and it's swaying so we don't want to we don't want to rein that in we want to make sure that we, we're giving it a little bit of leeway just like i have done on that one so i'm going to leave a couple of centimeters as well as creating a loop so i've got to judge this by eye you could get a ruler if you wanted to so i reckon that I'm going to um, need about that much for the for the, the pearls and the ap appetite to move around. So I'm just going to move my round nose pliers up a little bit like that, and then I'm going to bend it to a right angle. And then that's when I can create my loops. So I'm going to just chop off the excess wire here, and then take my round nose pliers and create a loop on the end there like that. As you can see, you can just manipulate the loop to get it so it looks like a question mark and um, looks a bit more perfect. So you can have the, the length of the, uh, the, the head pin excess as long or as short as you'd like it to be. When it's longer like that, they can really move around when it's a little bit shorter. They still have a little bit of flexibility, but um, they're, they're more compacted. And then the next part of the earring is to take an eye pin and to just thread it through one of the Baroque pearlescent seed beads. So you can see the eye is at the base of the, the seed bead. And then I'm going to create a loop so we've got an eye on either end of it. And that's what we're going to do. So that's turning in there. Just straighten your loop up. And then 
we're going to attach that to the earring wire and to the loop that we created on the uh, end of the head pin. So just taking your chain nose pliers, just going to open that loop up. I'm going to attach one of the loops or one of the eyes on this seed bead. I'm going to close the loop using my chain nose pliers. And then I'm going to open the loop at the bottom of the earring wire, just by opening a door, lift that up. Popping it into the other eye on the seed bead and then closing it up securely. Make sure that that can't uh, leave. So there we have the finished earring. And uh, it's always really nice just to um, have that rather than just connecting that um, head pin straight to the earring wire, it's always nice to have something that's an interesting connector. It's like a, an additional little design feature, but it also allows the earring to, uh, to sway around and to move really nicely when it's in the ear. So I hope you've enjoyed this project and um, there is a, a, a variety of different colours that you could use in the Swarovski pearl range. So I'd love to see any other designs that you do. If you choose to do different colours, that would be great. Do share your designs with us and have fun making these earrings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you've enjoyed this. Please like, comment, we love to hear your feedback and also visit our website, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and we look forward to catching up with you with more tutorials.